Hi everyone, this is Nancy the Wine Fairy and I'm here never drinking alone because it's November. I have my handy dandy gnome here with my favorite wine, Squinzano. This is one of our signature wines with Wines for Humanity. A lot of times people ask me, why do you work for a winery? Do you work for a vintner? Do you work for a wine shop? No, actually, I work for the community and I work for myself. Wines for Humanity is a social enterprise and I love it. Never did I think that I could sit here in my pajamas and actually do something I love. I studied to be an Italian registered wine sommelier when my children were small and we lived in Tuscany and we had this wonderful restaurant and even though I was very capable in the kitchen, people didn't believe it because I was American. A couple years ago, well actually 20 some years ago, I decided to come to this country and bring my children here. I put my wine career on the shelf because most wine jobs were at night and my children had a lot going on. So I never thought I would be able to get back into the wine business. Well, a few years ago, I held a fundraiser for Alzheimer's and the company I called was Wines for Humanity. The owner, Anton Steinhardt and founder, said, well, that's really not our core mission, but let's give it a whirl. I believe that if you feel so passionately about this charity, that we can make it work. And he certainly did. That was eight years ago. After I hosted a couple parties, I decided to join this company myself because every bottle gives back. Between nine and 12 and a half percent of proceeds, not profits, and we are the only company, wine company, that does that. It's pretty remarkable. We've been in business for over 12 years, and in those 12 years, we've given $7 million back to charity. Guess what? We did it one sip at a time. I'd like to think that I was really responsible for this growth, but any person that wants to host a, a party can call our company or connect with one of the wine advisors and they can host a party and give back to the charity of their choice. We prefer that the funds stay local because what we're trying to do is save local communities. Our core mission is the prevention of homelessness because we know that if you prevent homelessness, it's a lot easier than trying to get someone out of homelessness. But we, pr we promote education programs, we promote um, and fundraisers for different disease sets. It's a really awesome, awesome program. And we do this because we all have a passion for wine and a heart for others. And what you find when you join our company is that you have a brethren of like-minded individuals. And we all know when you put a group of committed folks with the same vision together, nothing is impossible. And we have done so much in our local communities with wine. I would love for you to join me. And if you'd like to know more, you can find out the link to my microsite is in the description and peruse Wines for Humanity. There's lots of wonderful stories out there. This week, we're currently raising money for veterans. We give money back to pets. And when the market uh, fell out in 2008, we were right there supporting families that had food insecurity. Why just in this shelter in place, and it's not a coincidence that the acronym for shelter in place is SIP. Well, during shelter in place, we gave 200,000 meals back to children with food insecurity that were home that normally got their meals from school. So that's a little bit about Wines for Humanity. 
and my lovely favorite wine. I'll talk to you about it in our next segment. This is Nancy, the Wine Fairy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.